Hey, it's me, Dago is cracked. Uh, if you remember, like three months ago, I did a video where I showcased my Battle Royale map, Utopia, and that was season one. But now it's been a while, and season two has come out, so I'm gonna be showing you guys season two. Um, like and subscribe for more videos. This is probably gonna be like um, a seasonal thing. I'll do this every season. Um, anyways, enjoy. But yeah. So I'm gonna be going over all the changes, but um. So yeah, um, I started the game so that you won't see the zones and stuff. So yeah. Now, starting off, we're gonna go to Spawn Island. So, Spawn Island, this side of Spawn Island hasn't changed that much except for over here at the parkour. There's an LGBTQ flag because um, um, the season started in June. So yeah, there's like LGBTQ flags all around the map. There's like one in every POI. But they all got removed because it's July now. But there's still one over here, so yeah, it's pretty cool. So this is the, so this is the place that has changed. Well, I don't this area has changed a lot. But first of all, we're gonna be careful with all that much is on. So we got this four tennis style buildings. We got this like heart. We got this fish things that are carrying these boxes. So yeah, this place is just like a place to to have a disco. Some dancing and stuff like that. There's some music over here. This place has some good interior. Yada yada. There is this ice cream truck over here. And over here we got this little beach area with some surfboards. So pretty much that's pretty much it for Spawn Island. I like the Spawn Island a lot. Now we're gonna move on to Beezy Blossom. So this place hasn't changed that much. The main changes are these trees, these chapter four season two trees that are unreleased. Um, so yeah, basically, um, last season, these trees, they were, the, they were like a different kind of trees, but you couldn't see them on the map, so, but now you can, and now the blossom biome looks really good now, looks, breezy blossoms look amazing, anyways, yeah, um, there's also an ice cream truck over here, which is a mechanic we'll cover later, and of course, up here, we got, the vault from the vault crackers event it was an update last season in season one but now these vaults are abandoned and now there's only like two chests and the safe you, could, you used to open and it would be like 500 gold or so but now it's disabled yeah it's still here it's pretty cool and um, it actually brought me over here to our next uh, place we're gonna check out this isn't a POI but it's a landmark um, this is new but if you look in the mini map like up there uh you can see that it says hectic homes with the yellow name that means it's a landmark obviously so yeah that's pretty cool i guess so anyways little detail anyways we got three little houses we've got a mansion we've got two little normal houses anyway and we've got the pizza pit thing and the ice cream thing. Now we're gonna start off with this house. This house is probably the most important house. It's really important to the storyline. So over here, we got a house for all the three characters. First of all, you can probably guess one of the characters that live here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cat ball, cat thing, cat carpet, just like batty, yawn ball, this thing, like this. Doggo thing, dog, cat dog. Yeah, this is for Miyasuko. He's a character in the storyline, right over there. And next up, and the next character is Sky. He has these little plush things and green bags and all that stuff. And then we got Jones, the main character. Got this little folder, this little pine cabinet thing, all that stuff. Um, we will find out more in the cinematic. Anyways, we're going to go over to here to Doggo's house. As you can see, there's a dog house. Um, and the character, Doggo, he's a character in the story, I think, he's not a main character. Um, he lives over here in this house. Why is that roof damage? I have no idea. I mean, yeah, it's pretty much a regular house. Yada yada yada. Got to get it here, yeah. Cool thing is, with all the roofs are the same time you can see the roofs. They're all furnished. All that stuff. Very cool, very cool. Anyways, now we're gonna go to the mansion. I'm actually really proud of this. Look at this interior. So we got this like little sitting area. We got these little, I think it's a guitar. Yeah, it's a guitar. 
got this like safe with the rubber ducky and the money. I guess they're stealing the money. I am unstoppable. Well, I didn't know that. Got this kitchen area with the um, trash bag and some flowers. We got this library area. We got this dining area. Which is really cool if you just dine over here. And we got these bunk beds. So uh, this season has a lot of bunk beds if you didn't notice. All these houses have bunk beds because um, um, during the heat wave a lot of people have went homeless. So um, yeah, the bunk beds are for people that are homeless. So like there's two people in every house, at least two people in every house, um, basically, because um, the heat wave. So yeah, a lot of homeless people are moving in here and stuff like that for free. Got a pool table, got that already, we got these like lifting things. And you know the people who live here are rich because there is toilets. Now like, what's crazy about toilets? This is the only toilet in Utopia. Everyone else, like these people, they just use porta parties. But these guys, no, 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 no. They use, see, no porta parties. They use um, toilets, which is really cool. But anyways, we're gonna move on to an actual POI. Perfect PR. It's a new POI. It came in midway to the season, I guess. Kind of midway, yeah. So, this, um, in season one, these two buildings were like construction buildings, and then it got upgraded with more construction stuff. This pier got construction and all that stuff, and now the construction is done. So, let me give you a tour. So, we got a pier. Got a pier. Some fishing. Uh, if you're wondering where the fishing rods are, you have to buy them from over here. And this like um, cam carp bait and tackle. There's like castles, so there's these things, floaties, um, clothes, these canoes. That's it. These uh, fishing rods, you open them really fast and they give you the same loot, the um, castle. Plus a fishing rod, but I don't know why you would fish this. There's um, no fishing spots due to memory, so yeah. Anyways, we got the house of the person that runs this place. So yeah, it's a pretty cool house. As you can see, got the bunk beds again. And of course, there's a porta party. No toilets here. The rich people have toilets. Anyways, then we got this little other house, like, um, yeah, you can rent this house if you wanted, I guess. It's like the guest house, yeah. It's pretty small, but it works, you know, it works. And it's in a clock tower. It must be really annoying to live here because you have to hear the tick, tick, tick noise. Anyways, we got Gnome Hut. This is pretty cool. This is kind of a part of the POI, uh, but it does have a little name too. So, yeah. Now, Gnome Hut is for all these gnomes, so if you remember, probably don't but there was this like little mountain here with a landmark it was called gnome village or something i forgot but there was like these gnome huts and stuff like that and the, all the gnomes lived there pretty small but then it got destroyed to make room for these poi so yeah they need somewhere to go so they got their hut down here there's three of them one two three this guy the, this guy's the wise wise the wise gnome, the wise old gnome, the wise old gnome, yep. And one, as you can see, one person has to sleep on the couch. That's sad. I simply sat one person. Speaking of gnomes, there's another gnome over here. Uh, this is a part of the mini storyline. So if, um, I'm going, I'm skipping ahead a bit. I'm just going to go over to evacuate to the state. So uh, if you go in here. We got this. So we have this little crate uh, prison cell that's empty. Um, that guy that was there used to was in this prison cell, but then he escaped. He blew his wall up, um, but it was rebuilt again. And um, also he has this. It's a tiny bit of an Easter egg because if you remember in the last I made about a way yeah, I'm not video, um, I kind of shot him, and now he kind of hates me, so he has that thing on. He literally went all the way over here, up here, to 
looked over there, he was scouting out. He was like, where's my friends? And then he found his friends, and uh, I don't know how. He just has, like, he has supervision. He could see everything. Anyways, yeah. And then he just came over here with his little suitcase, his tiny little suitcase. And, yeah, he's here now. But um, the mini storyline is going to continue soon because now he has an enemy. These guys. So there's a supply drop. The supply drop crashed down. I think this looks pretty cool. But the supply drop brought these guys out. These alien chests, as you can say. Something's going to happen soon. Stay tuned for the next update because a lot of crazy things going to happen. So Timmy Temple is... I don't really like Timmy Temple. Timmy Temple is kind of fit up. It's really only for the storyline because, um, yeah, it's kind of related to the storyline. So these, like, the fish down here... It seems like the wave, the water's been like really hot and um, they're probably gonna die so they just came up here and yeah, there's a mechanic over here which I'll show later. It says tricky, yeah, like that. But there's also another mechanic in this main building. Um, I'll show that later. That's, this is the temple, these two are like big watch hours. And we even got these things, the wobbly blobs, like you can call them, I call them the wobbly blobs. And they're here, they're just chilling out here, you can just, um, dance around with them. It's just, it's always a good time. And, um, I wish I could, I wish I could add the Coral Castle music here. That would be such a vibe, though. But, moving on to the Dusted Destroyer, the big, big Dusted Destroyer. Um, it's like the main storyline thing over here. So, this thing. This used to be a vault in the Vault Crackers event, like that, the one over here. But then the vault got taken away and then turned into like this platform. So you can just come over here and like activate the big guys. Some turrets over here, yeah, like that, and stuff like that. Um, basically, yeah, the constructs of this. So they start up the machine, but it malfunctions. So here's the machine. Go in here, get the glider redeploy. There's these parts of the machine scattered around. This little part down here. These two buildings are literally the same. They're fine, they're intact. All good, all good. All good. And these pieces up here, um, these diggers are coming over here. And um, they're trying to export these things out of the um, snow. They're putting it, they're bringing it somewhere. You can jump here or something. I don't know. They're bringing it somewhere. Uh, moving on. So, back to the woods. It's a pretty cool POI. Um, so, yeah, if you remember last season, it was just these two things. Like oh, this building and this building. But now it's been upgraded because of all, all the homeless people, as I was saying. But, yeah, it's a pretty cool place. This building seems to be empty. Honestly. This building's um, got a bit of an upgrade, but it's still a bit empty. That's kind of sad. And um, this building is the exact same except for one, one or two things. So, first of all, we got this guy, the alien chest. He's over here. This, this, he was here to, uh, like, at, from the beginning, like, season two, the start of season two, not season one, the start of season two. He was there, but then he wasn't out. He's too iconic. I wasn't gonna remove him from this area, so I just brought new ones in. Like that. Ah! I saw that. Anyways. Gotta be careful, mate. Anyways. There's also a distant computer. It's not that important, but like, um, there was gonna be a mechanic where you could go to the computer to search them and it will be like a storyline or some like funny meme or something. I don't know. Yeah, it was gonna be a mechanic, but it got scrapped, unfortunately. It would have been cool though. Anyways. Enough of the old stuff. Now we're gonna look at the new stuff. We got first of all we got this thing. It's like a little park area. So you can just watch your children while they play. Anyways, we got these two slap juice. Like slap this slap juice company is helping out the homeless people. You can this is the only place you can find a slap bottle. Probably gonna get removed because of memory there. Like this that thing alone costs one thousand memory. So yeah, it's not that worth it, but okay. No one even uses them anyways, except for me at least. Anyways, so we got 
no the gnome house. Um, so of course we got gnome hut over there, Look over there. But um, this one, a bit different. So we got one, two, three, four gnome sets. We also got another rival gnome over here. But this one's an imposter, guy imposter. And over here we got the, a lumberjack house. This is the only place you can find the rich uh, house. Yeah, pretty much it for uh, back in woods, I guess. Pretty much special ice cream truck, of course, but yeah. Anyways, moving on, we're gonna go to this landmark over here. Mancake's Manor. So, Mancake used to live at. When wild, uh, what was it called again? Western Watch, yeah, Western Watch. And um, yeah, it's now evacuated to the States because it got abandoned. But yeah, he used to live over there in the sheriff's office, but now he had to leave because the desert's like really hot. This QI is absolutely amazing. The start of the season, but in season one actually, let's go back to season one. This was like an ice area, so there was this ice house. It's actually Peely's house, it's where Peely lives, so it's the frozen Peely skin. Now he's on frozen. He's like that Hawaiian Peely skin. I know I call it a Hawaiian Peely. Summer Peely. Yeah. And basically, um, anyways, now that he's gone, uh, Man Cave, the sheriff, needs somewhere to go. So, yeah. This place is, has been built. It's like through the terrain of elevation. The terrain of this map actually kind of bad. A lot of people don't like this rain, so. Um, but this bit's kind of cool. I actually really like this bit. Got the sheriff's office. It's like really similar to the other one. And also, this is the uh, this is the other this is the second place you can find Western Loot. The other one being evacuated, but you can also find Western Loot here. You can also find the new explosive repeater rifle. But I don't think it's spawned for me. Yeah, there's a lot of Western weapons in the game. It's more than you think. Anyways, yeah. It's here we got these prison cells with the teddy bears trapped in here. And over here we got his little pumpkin farm. I'm actually really proud of this. We got this pumpkin farm. It's really, really cool. Um, so the ice house melted away and uh, basically there's this car that was broken down, stuck in the ice. And then uh, now it's been unmelted and now it's being repaired. Got these things, these things, these things, all that stuff. And we got a little chest. Twin mag. New weapon. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I love the twin mag. Who doesn't? Anyways. Moving on to Fruitful Farm. Fruitful Farm, if you remember, was Frozen Farm. So, these two buildings were those like ice pieces, like you see in Polar Peak. They were like ice pieces. Now they've been melted, and now and this one was like. There's a little bit of this building showing. And if you want to replay mode, you can actually see inside of it. But yeah, we got these little gold things. We got these pumpkins, this shovel, barrels, this like gasoline, and the fire box thing. All that stuff and a little tractor. We got the roof with like some interior over there. So yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. And these tires. This is a funny reference. Um, if you remember, the Polar Peak things were there. They were like really high. Something to get up there. And... Um, so I added these tires, I was like, you're flying, they're still in the game, so yeah, I actually heard really good clips, so I might put that up on the screen if I have time. Find the guy! Uh, no! I yeah, I can catch up with you! If I use the mouse, I can shoot you out the sky! Oh, yeah! <laughs> I don't have a stop! Anyway, next place we're going to is... Also, funny reference over here. <laughs> the snowman's just dying. Rest in peace, Snowy. He's just dead. Goodbye. He's, he's probably gonna be dead in season three. He's definitely gonna be dead in season three. Surprised he's not dead yet. Anyways, the hide of the hay bells are still here, of course. And um, over here, this is a new place that you couldn't see like at all. Um, yeah, this place is like actually really cool. Come over, coming over here, we got this little barn house thing. I think it's like a dog house, or is it like a... I don't know what it is, but yeah, it's there. with some apples, green apples, all that stuff. And we got this thing. We got this bed place, and up here, 
This is also for that mechanical stuff about the computer. It's over there. I'm surprised it's still there. I'm surprised if it's still working. Just hanging up the clothes over here. The farm's still the same, the cabbage farm. The dead clothes still here. These taxes are still here. All that stuff. This side hasn't really changed. But yeah, that's pretty much it for Super Bomb. Now, we're gonna move on to Evacuated Estate. This place used to be Western Watch, but since of the temperatures, they had to, this place is an uninhabitable, and basically, as, as I said, you can find Western Flow loot, including in the expedition. You can get it from Man Cakes Matter, but you can also get it from here. Um, this place is uninhabitable, to the temperatures and yeah this this guy's still sleeping the snow is still in prison he's been sleeping since he's gone he's just been here forever man and um yeah oh my days i didn't mean to buy that my sh wow anyways the sheriff's office thing sheriff thing signs been lowered down we got some of these cv things it gives that abandoned feel you know like the overgrown grass things yeah um, the store, a fan favorite building, has been abandoned. A lot of things have been packed up. Ooh, double bar shotgun. There's a lot of things been packed up. What coffee, as long as you're rushing. Getting packed up and lying down. The gas is still lying down. The hay for 420 pounds is, is gone. So, um, yeah, rest in peace to that. Clock tower, never got to finish, unfortunately. Stables are abandoned. No more horses. Um, unfortunately, who's that? Oh, the lever action. A lot of these, there's a lot of shotguns. Of course, the striker attack. Um, pump's gone. But you can still you can get the lever action and the double back. I don't see many people using the lever action though. Most people just come here for the explosive repeater. Generally, I actually really like this weapon. Anyways, over here. We got this little place over here. We got the little house. It's been abandoned. Place. All these abandoned. Basically, same things. Yada, yada, yada. So, yeah. Rest in peace. Rest in watch. Now it's evacuated the states. The Skull Mountain's still here, of course. The most iconic thing. Still here. Um, you can st yeah. Still here. Still fine. But the rest of the town's been abandoned. Um, anyways, we're going to go to another landmark over here, Humid Homes. So, if you remember, this place was, um, pretty cool, because they, they, they had a lot of things lifted in from my maps. These two buildings were lifted in from my season one of my other maps, Storm Royale. Let me cover it. So, this building is an abandoned, um, this building was a collab with my friend Meatloaf, but now it's been abandoned and stuff like that. All that stuff, yada yada yada. Got these overgrown leaves. We got the rip-off skull mountain, still fine. Um, like stuff like that, yeah. And of course, over here we got the movie set place. Um, the series movies, one of my favorite POIs, has been abandoned, and Mr. Dinosaur, my profile, my old profile picture, has been removed. Unfortunately, he will make his comeback though. The clock tower clock has been lowered down and um, of course we got forgotten farm i literally forgot about it shows how forgotten it is we got these like limo things yeah this thing's been supported up it's been basically abandoned it's been say, though. no one even uses these i don't know why i i have them anyways why am i using the grapple drum i can literally fly i'm literally god anyways Things still the same. These thing, these things. So there's the parachutes on the map. If you see these little parachute things, there, it is a mechanic, but it's how it looks. Got this little th uh, thing over here. Dylan, Dylan, I, Dylan, I am coming for you. Dylan, I will end you. D that was my friend Dylan. I never even saw this. This eighty one script, but I do. I never even saw that. Like that's just. Dylan, how did you know Dylan? How did you know? Oh my days, I'm, I'm killing Dylan. Anyways, yeah, this is a mechanic. I'm calling it, uh, I'll show it later. Uh, I'm gonna do it when the mechanic side of things comes. And then, 
I'm gonna um, evacuate. Um, I mean, isolated islands is still the same. And um, now we're gonna move on to the last POI, dazzling DJ. So if you remember, this was like only a li little landmark. It's kind of mediocre. We got this building and this little mountain thing. These things were never here. Anyways. So we got this building. It's still the same. It's like one thing. With this little light thing, side thing. We got these beach things with the surfboards again. They're here. Switching chest and mechanic thing. And then over here, the items up here. Got, got the little window. Um, another visal gnome, I guess. Um, this one's another monster. And over here, you can actually buy the slap slash, the new item. Buy it over here. Pretty, pretty cool. And we even got this jumping board. Down the water. Sometimes you can die to fall down and put that. Just a warning. Um, I have done that many times. Um, yeah. Anyway, we got this for chill style building. Um, it's, it's very similar to one over there in Sport Island, but yeah. Um, yeah, 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 the green area. We got the crystal kind of boss, there's all that stuff. Look the place. The place has got a build good upgrade. Anyway, so that's it for the map side of things. Now I'm going to show you guys all the mechanics. Now, coming back over here, I forgot it was on the floor. I can just pay tribute, so you can pay tribute. And it gives you a random mythic. It could be any mythic. It could be I right now I got the gunner sting SMG. It's like a mythic version of any gun that it's in the loop pool and has a mythic version. So mythic striker, mythic stinger. We even got the mythic mythic um explosive repeater rifle. Which is really really cool. Anyways, we got the ice cream truck mechanic. So basically every match there will be three random ice cream trucks. There's one ice cream truck in every POI. Um, some landmarks, um, yeah, but um, so basically these ice cream trucks give you three different types of ice cream cones. Um, this time I got, uh, I got uh, th the three I got are the guzzle ice cream cone, the the frozen ice cream cone, and the little bit of stuff. And you can choose to buy a regular supply drop, which is like one of th these regular supply drops. But the other three supply drop, the exotic supply drop, actually grants an exotic loot. It's an exotic drop and some OP deals. So yeah. Um, as you can see, look, if you check in chat, we we'll call it in. Look at chat. It's got some gold text that says a fair has opened an exotic supply drop. Right now, all the supply drops just are, have the same kind of loot, but it's being changed in that update. I'm looking at that update, and it is being. You got these red dust, red dust, okay. you get a grapple bow, two slip pieces, six chunk splashes, and five little whip, six little whip stretches. That is crazy. So yeah, I really like the grapple bow, bow, that's what I think it uh, is, um, the second life mechanic. So, if you come over here. And let's just unalive ourselves in Fortnite, of course. Oh, of course, let's just unalive ourselves. If you die, you get a second chance at life. You respawn. You respawn with a tactical pistol and a special pump with a three variety and 50 of each map. So that's 150 maps in total. That's pretty cool. There's some bugs with it. Yeah, and games should just end. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'll see you guys um, very soon. Um, I might do a part two of this, I mean, a part three of this. So yeah, bye guys.